Murphy, Tori Anulov off that huge win of Erdin, pinned Erdin of Turkey. Vladislav Baliev of Russia, his opponent. Championship at 86, a chance for the Russian Federation to pick up some valuable points. Good luck at Baliev of Russia. <laughs> 2017 World Bronze Medalist, and there is Anulov. Moldova, can he keep it going? Picked up the fall over Erdin of Turkey in the semifinals. He's represented Moldova in the World Championship since 2010. Quiet veteran goes about his business. Can he keep the story going against Russia? We're about to find out at 86 kilos. Now what I loved about Anulov after he picked up that fall, he showed no emotion. You know, he wasn't hopping up and down. He handled it like a professional and he knew he had one more big match to ultimately accomplish his goal this week in Bucharest and that's knock off the Russian that stands in his way in Valia. Ali have a 2017 world bronze medalist. He knocked off the Azerbaijan that we just saw to reach the continental finals tonight. Contact red. Chance for Russia to pick up some points. Azerbaijan missed their opportunity in the bronze medal and now the Federation will look to take full advantage of it. He gets warned. Next time he'll go up under the clock. That's Anu Love, Moldova, and another quick whistle. This time it's for the Russia side of it, leading those hands into the face. And what Anu Love can't do in this match is get behind. You, you mentioned the 2017 World Bronze Medalist. Vladislav Valiev. When I think back to those 2017 Paris World Championships, when he took that bronze medal, one match really sticks out, and that was against Hassan Yazdani Chirati of Iran, at that time looked at as the most dominant wrestler in the world outside of Kyle Snyder or Abdul Rashid Sajalayev. And he gave Yazdani a fit because his style is very defensive. He doesn't attack a lot. He's but you can't score a lot of points on Valisov Valiev, excuse me. So that's why I say you cannot get behind on him because even the best wrestlers in the world can't score on him. He's defensively sound, he's not flashy, but what he is, he's technically sound as well. So do not allow yourself to get stuck behind Valisov Valiev. Anu Love is five seconds away from falling behind. He's going to give up that point, so a 1 0 lead for the Russian. 3.53 to go. Period number one. New offense was going to be tough to come by, as Eric described. Anulov is a opportunistic wrestler. He takes advantage of a mistake, but as you described, Valiev just doesn't make too many of those. Under control at all times. one nothing. winding down the final moments of this first period. There's a shot straight on by Anulov, and look at that. Valiev caught him and gets two. You better be sure when you come in to attack, and the Russian was waiting as he sprung the trap that time. He gets the two, goes up 3 nothing. Looking for a possible wrench, but he runs out of time as the official says stalemate. They'll go back up onto their feet. So this is Valiev's fifth match of the tournament. How about these scores? 11 to 0, 3 to 1, 5 0, 7 0. Incredible. Three shutout victories, and then he only gave up a point. Time. 
Well, he's just wrestled his ninth period. Okay. And still that tally hasn't changed. One point allowed, three nothing the score. Vladislav Valiev of Russia. See that shot. Such a good counter wrestler. Takes him right back down to the map for two. Thought maybe okay. for a moment he might be able to get a turn. Wasn't the case. He settles three zip after one. Second period underway on you, Love. Caught leaning forward that time. Underhook applied by Valiev. Has that underhook on the left side of the body of the Moldova wrestler. See what he elects to do with it. This is another one of those Russian weight classes where depth, right, you, right, you can almost say it at every weight class, but the level of competition at this weight class, when you look at the Russian Federation, it's number one, Durian Karugaliev, and fifth place finisher at the World Championships, lost to Yazdani in, lost to David Taylor and lost to Yazdani to take that fifth place. And then Artur Naifonov, the defending, or excuse me, last year's Kaspisk European champion. So Vladislav Valiev is the third ranked wrestler on that ladder, and he's competing here for a European title. I mean, the wrestling that goes on in that room each and every day, making these guys better, elite athletes. Like so many of these countries, you know, you get those guys who battle for a spot in that same weight, varying one or two weights, and the training that they see each and every day going up against one another. Wrestling room's getting stronger. Valiev continues to lead 3-0. Second time we've seen Anulov on the clock, so he gives up the point, 4-0 the score. It's like he's a step ahead of the opponent. And this is especially where he's good, is in that front headlock position. But yeah, it just, it's its nothing flashy. It's, it's everything you teach at a young age and he just continued to get better at it. And it's simple, just head down, hands in front wrestling. Contact blue. We'll have to go back after this match and take a look at that 3-1 victory that he had earlier this tournament and see how he gave up that one point because I'm curious at this point to nearly go unscored upon throughout the European Championships is not something you often see. And with 20 seconds left, barring something crazy, he's only gonna give up one point throughout these championships. He wins a gold just the same way he started his path toward this Wednesday night final. Impossible to score on, opportunistic when given the chance. And Russia moves out in front. 30 to one. The total tallies in his five victories here in Bucharest.